Hey, this is Martin, Printer Potty and uh, Octo Inkjet. What we're going to do is show you how to access, download, install and resolve any of the security steps that crop up while trying to do the same for the IWIC, which is the Mac OS version of the WIC reset or the Waste Ink Counter Reset tool. Okay, now as you can see here, I've got two browsers open. And the reason for that is because they do different things. Um, you go Google Chrome and Safari. So first of all, I'm going to go into Safari, go to printerpottypot.com slash go reset, which is the page where we can download from. Uh, you click on the download section, you get to this area here. Obviously, you don't want the Windows version. It's not going to work on a Mac. And then you click on either one of these. Now Safari will pick up either of these. It'll download both. Chrome, I'll explain to you in a minute why this one's different. Uh, it wants me to check. I want to allow. That will now download that utility. Now, if you have Chrome and you've gotten rid of Safari, and I can't say I blame you, it is slightly different. Again, down to the download section. But this time, if you click on it, as you see up here, when I click on it, nothing happens. The reason for that is if you look down here, just watch that bit there, um, that uh, URL, that website address with a get IWSC is a redirect. Um, it's a long story, but basically it points to another web link. And for some reason, Google Chrome does not like that. So you need to use the mirror to, that's a direct link to the actual file. So if we click that one, it will download the file. And again, you, go, you have it there and you have it here. So clicking on, now these are both exactly the same. doesn't really matter which one you get. So I'm going to click on this one to open it. Give it a second. That's now opened it up. It hasn't installed it yet. So we're going to double click. And this is what we expect to happen. This is a security message. So expect this to happen. and this is what you now need to do. Now, as it's saying, WIC reset cannot be opened because it was not downloaded from the app store. And this is all to do with security preferences, okay? So you click on, okay. Now, to fix it, what you do, click on the Apple icon, system preferences, security and privacy. And now, click on the general tab. You can see here, WIC reset was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Basically, it means it's not signed with a SSL certificate to show that it's definitely from the developers. It is. We test all of these and our links are checked as well. But anyway, so what you need to be able to do is open anyway. So you click that button. Now, you need to be an administrator or have administrator permissions to be able to set this. So I am on a different account. So I'm now in. So once I've signed it as an admin, it then changes and says, Wick reset is not from the app store. Are you sure you want to open it? Well, yes, you do. So you click on open. And now it opens. From this point on, you follow the normal process for actually using this utility. The purpose of this video is just to show you how to get to this point, and we will deal with this on the Mac OS once I actually have a printer installed. But one of the first things you do when you get to this point is close the assistant because it will get in the way, okay? So you can do that just here. Click on that. But like I said, I'll show you later how to um, use the utility itself. Right now there isn't a printer installed, but hopefully, this helps an awful lot of you using Mac OS systems um, to show you how to actually get to this point so that you can use the utility. Please give us a thumbs up, share, like, all that. Give us comments if you think we could be doing slightly better. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully, hopefully this has been useful and we'll be doing more videos like this in the coming months. Thanks a lot.